Scarlet Blaze. Torment of the Ego and Lion. Edelgard succeeds in containing Ayer's insurgency, and while she is concerned by the absence of the nefarious Tallis, she prepares her army for the next step regardless. The time is nigh to crush the kingdom and central church's growing momentum and put an end to the war once and for all. I've gathered you here in Garrick Mark because the time has come. We are returning to the front. Oh yeah, I've been waiting to hear that forever. Let's go wreck things. For the next phase of our campaign, we'll be working with the Alliance's leader, Claude, to tighten our cordon around the kingdom. Rather than try to advance on the Western Front, we'll join forces with the Alliance and press in from the East. This means we'll be marching northeast from the monastery and infiltrating Galatea. I hope we can finally end it this time. I don't think I can deal with doubling back again. Agreed. This slog has slogged on long enough. Worry not, friends. I'll not be blindsided twice. I promise you that. We won't rest until all of Fodlan is united. We will fight tooth and nail for it, and we'll do so together. So, we're finally dusting off our armor and going somewhere, huh? You must really want to end this war if you're letting the two of us loose on the kingdom. Quite right, Captain Gerald. We will not accept anything less than the fall of the royal capital. You and your mercenaries will be marching with us. This is not a problem, I trust. Let's just say I have a history with someone at the capital and leave it at that. But if the time's come for me to sort that out, then so be it. In any case, we're ready to go, right, kid? We'll earn our keep. Gotta say, I'm excited to be fighting with you for a change. We made some headway on the Western Front once the Empire pulled its main force back. What does it matter when their Minister of Military Affairs still holds Aryan Road? Even if we were in a position to keep throwing troops at those walls, we're never going to crack them. But if we keep digging our heels in here, their main force will be on us again in no time. It appears they have already dealt with the insurrection at Fort Mercius. They don't come at us from the west. They'll soon waltz right in from the east. Might I offer a suggestion, King Dimitri? Of course, Lady Rhea. We should retake Garrick Mark. It is the only way to reverse our current fortunes. If I call upon the Church's faithful, they will come running from every corner of Fodlan to liberate the monastery in the Goddess's name. With Garrick Mach under our control, we will be able to keep the Imperial Army in check. Additionally, it might convince some of the more fickle Alliance Lords to reconsider their loyalties. I mean no disrespect, Lady Rhea, but this proposal hardly seems... There is more. As you know, the Bishop of the Southern Church is currently seated at the Monastery. If we remove him, it reminds the world anew that Archbishop Rhea is the rightful head of the Church of Saros. I believe this will shake some of the more devout Adrestian lords from their Emperor's grip. While their faith may waver now, Adrestia is still the cradle of the Church of Saros. There are yet many pious believers among their nobility. If we can pull them to our side, it may shift the war back in our favor. We should strike while the iron is hot. I will get the word out at once. Hold, Lady Rhea. 
While I now concede that your plan to retake the monastery has some merit, I must ask that you alert no one. And why not? I need only say the word, and an army of believers will flock to our cause. Yes, and the moment the enemy spies people flooding in from across Hill and Dale, they'll realize what we're planning and bolster their defenses. You believe their defenses are mightier than the faith of the people? By the goddess, have our enemies truly become so powerful? In that case, what do you propose? We entrust the eastern lines to houses Karen and Galatea, then ride in mass toward Arian Road. The enemy will think we intend to assail the Silver Maiden, but instead we break east. East? Then we'll be attacking the monastery through the Valley of Torment. I get your thinking now. If we attack from the west, Aryan Road would be at our backs, and the Empire could box us in. Very well. I have no objections. My church members will assist in guiding your soldiers through ALL. The monastery is holy and precious to us, and by the name of the Goddess, I swear, it will be ours again. Good. Then I'll ready the troops. Lady Rhea, Seteth, I place all of our futures in your hands. Off, no matter what. Shut Huh? No. Excuse me. Disappointing. Honestly, I don't know. Absolutely. Hmm. So, let's think about that. Excuse me, am 
must be telling you. <laughs> A moment of your time. If you please. Can we talk? Nothing to report. I'd really appreciate it. Hmm. That's concerning. Got a sec? thinking. A 
and that's it. Nice one. a moment. of service.
you even listening to me, Linhart? I know what I saw. Oh, I heard you the first time. I just think you misunderstood what your eyes were telling you. The guy didn't have a head. What could I possibly misunderstand about that? From a distance, many things could resemble the indistinct shape of a headless torso. It's irrational to assume it was a ghost. There must be a simpler and more scientific explanation. And you'll never convince me otherwise, no matter how much you howl. So best to just let it go. You're being real stubborn about this. Wouldn't it be easier to just mumble something about how he might be right and move on? A fair point. But you see... Father? Well, this is unexpected. You too, Father? What are you doing here? I had some matters to discuss with Her Majesty, and prefer to do so in person. And I came to consider the continued unrest in the east of the Empire with the court. And you thought it might be nice to pay your dear sons a visit while you were in the area. A sensible conclusion. Death awaits around every corner in these times. Each visit could be our last. You are a fountain of positivity, my son. We're not just here to bandy words. There's a fight waiting for us, and a lot of you are going to help. Uh, all of us? He can't possibly be counting me among those slated to help, can he? Father? I was against the idea, but as you might imagine, Count Burglies would have none of it. You know, some of the former Prime Minister's rebel sympathizers escaped, yes? Well, we've tracked them down in a town near to here. Leopold means to mount an attack and wipe them out in one fell swoop. With just us? I hope you have more troops on the way. Sorry, but this is all we've got. My army's engaging the kingdom on the Western Front, and Her Majesty's forces are busy with preparations for the next battle. Now come, we don't have much time. Right, got it. And what do you think will happen to us if we let the two of them go it alone and they end up dead? Hmm? Oh, fine. As you said, it's not like we can talk the Count out of anything once he's set his mind to it. And Caspar is just as bad. That apple is so close to the tree, it may as well be part of the roots themselves. I assume we can count on you as well, friend. It will be a hard battle, and I cannot vouch for our safe return should you refuse. Don't see how I can say no when you put it like that. You're just as bad as Count Burglies in your own special way. You appear to have a bond of mutual trust. Nicely done, son. I'm not sure that's how I'd phrase it, but moving on. If we're going to do this thing, I suggest we move out and do it already. Yeah, if we don't hurry, Caspar and his dad will be drowning in bad guys before we even get our boots laced. Come on, we gotta catch up. See, I knew I could rely on you. I get the feeling this is going to be quite the bother before it's all said and done. So much for catching the enemy unprepared. Though no matter, we'll wipe out what's left of this rebellion regardless. That racket you caused outside of town certainly didn't help. Still, at least they've been drawn out. It's been a while since I fought alongside my father. Better step it up. Even more than you usually do? In that case, I'll try to keep out of your way. 
Are you kidding? My usual approach was get blasted away by my father's battle cry alone! A good point. I'll stay away from him as well. When did we two last fight side by side? During the troubles in Endgar, perhaps? Quite recently. Hopefully things go better this time. seem unrelated to the rebels. Still, we might as well deal with them. Bowing down weak enemies is so very dull. What say you, Kaspar? Care to compete over which group can rack up more kills? You and Kill Heaven versus the three of us? I like those odds! <laughs> or you can leave us out of your absurd contest entirely. Older boy. I understand he was taken captive. He lives, but the temporary loss of mercy has had dire repercussions. I fear we must reassess his fitness for the Berkeley's mantle. More bandits over there, Voldemar! Warp me in! Another one man assault? Well, if that's what you want. A wise man is ever ready. Would you like to be... Worked as well, Caspar? I personally think it's a terrible idea, but I'll let you make your own decision. No thanks. I'm running on pure, clean Caspar power this time. All right, that's one down. Come on, give me another. Can't we just have a nice, normal battle? Counting bodies is so tacky. More bandits? Or mostly bandits, I guess. I don't see very many rebels. What's all the commotion? If we're under attack, then fight back, you idiots! I'm feeling great, Father! What about you? Need you even ask? Thanks to my training, my stamina is the envy of men half my age. Still improving. Nice work. That wasn't so bad. We'll go on ahead to escort the prisoners. 
Father? I don't believe it! You boys did well. So well, in fact, that I think we ought to put you to the test ourselves. What say you, Voldemort? <laughs> so be it. I cannot promise to match your intensity. Force of will seems rather weak in the face of the might you display so casually. Sorry, I can tell your heart's not really in this. I don't know what you're talking about, but I'm gonna prove how strong I am! <sighs> that was about what I expected. Show me what you've learned! Every technique and talent! Hold nothing back! Fight against the strongest man in the Empire? You got it. I'll give you all you can handle! Are you sure you have the right son here? Because I'd much prefer to stay out of this. Impressive! You've done yourself proud. Well, this day has been simply awful. Time for me to hurry home and fall into bed. Bed? It's still early. I bet my father has plenty more training in store for us. So you finally bested your old man, huh? I'm proud of you, Kaspar. And Linhart, you've come a long way as well. Oh, and it puts my mind at ease to know these two have a companion like you around. Don't you agree, Valdemar? Any peace of mind I may have gained will doubtless be wiped out soon by more of your antics, Leopold. But yes, as one never knows what will happen on a battlefield, it is always good to have capable allies. Wow, did you hear that? My father isn't easily impressed, so you must have really knocked his greaves off back there. It's an honor to get complimented by such a renowned military mind. Ha! Well, if you ever want to test your might, you know where to find me. I don't think that was ever on the table. No? Well, that's disappointing. Anyway, Kaspar, I wanted to give you something. My gauntlets, Yarn Griper. They've been in our family for generations, and you don't even need a crest to use them. I, uh... Really? Are you sure? It's only right that they get passed down to the next generation of Burgley's warrior. You mean I've earned them? Looks like all your hard work's finally paying off. Yeah. Thank you, Father. Truly. I'm gonna get even stronger to keep proving I deserve the honor. Ha! <laughs> well said, my son. Now then, it would be rude of me to let the rest of you go empty-handed after all that. Here. Consider this as a thank you for letting me drag you all on my little adventure. Hey, now we're talking. After all those years as a merc, I always expect some kind of reward after a tough battle. You throw yourself vigorously into the fray to help your friends, yet also keep a tight grip on the strings of your purse. You would make for a fine civil servant if you ever had the inclination. Tempting, but I think I'd rather fight people than paperwork. Guys like me aren't cut out for the civilized life. I prefer to let my sword do the talking. Wait, you have a talking sword? What? 
Of course not. <laughs> if only you trained your mind with the same vigor as your muscles, my son. Hey, speaking of minds, where's Linhart? He's been awfully quiet through all this. <sighs> Did he seriously just pass out? Hmm? Oh, are we going? Wow, look at that. I have a second wind. Just enough energy to get me home and into bed. Long story short, the kingdom is preparing to ride west with a huge army. It looks like they're gonna throw everything they've got at Aryan Road. Yes, we have received similar reports. It's a pretty strange thing to do. I don't trust it. Then you believe it to be a feint? Interesting. Well, if true, there are only so many places they could go. They cannot ignore our troops and attempt to take Deirdre. That would be folly. So the only other place I can imagine they would be after is Garrick Mark. That's what I was thinking. So what's our play? We can't risk losing the monastery. We'll have to send more troops to defend it. But at the same time, we can't unclench the fist we are trying to bring down on the kingdom. Our only choice is to mobilize the full resources of our regions. Spoken like a woman with might to spare. I'm afraid we in the Alliance are already at our limits. But hear me out for a second. If the Kingdom really intends to attack Eric Mach, they won't approach from the West. That would put them smack between your forces in Aryan Road and the Monastery. It'd be suicide. That leaves them with only one option. You're saying they'll take the northern approach through Aelau? Yep, the Valley of Torment, which just so happens to be the route we were planning to use ourselves. The Church of Saros will likely mobilize every knight they've got, and that is a very big army. Supposing you are correct, what do you suggest we do in response? Should we change our marching route to avoid clashing with them? Nope. In fact, I vote we do the opposite. The Kingdom will catch on no matter how we try to deploy our troops, so I say let's meet them right there in Aelau. Interesting. But the valley path is treacherous and difficult to navigate, which will blunt the impact of our superior numbers. Why would we play into the enemy's hands like that? Because sometimes trying to claim every advantage can be a double-edged sword. Leveling the playing field can often be the key to bringing an opponent down, especially if you know you can handle it. Besides, what better way to keep casualties to a minimum than by finishing them off in one battle? You know how to convince me. Very well. I can get behind this plan. Is there anything you would like to add, Hilda? You appear to be deep in thought. Huh? Who, me? Nah, no, I'm good. I'm just standing in because Clot asked me to. If it brings the war to an end quicker, I'm all for it. Let's give this a try. Greetings!
what you think. Indeed. If you would. What you think? How about it? I see. If you would. We will reach ALL soon. The Kingdom and Church approach from the West, and our friends in the Alliance from the East. We know their movements, so we need to assume they also know ours. This final battle will be intense and bloody, but no matter what happens, we must emerge victorious. At the very least, we have numbers on our side. Though the Kingdom has all of those heroes' relics, that can't be good for us. We must keep our eyes open, and we must stay on the same page. We can't have anyone rushing ahead to fashion themselves a hero. I'd say things are really heating up, but that's just the ground literally burning. It's sweltering. Whose idea was it to wage a battle in this place again? I will take heat over cold every day. Cold has its way of slowing you down. I'm fine with hot or cold, so long as it's in the comfort of my own room with the door locked. Do the words final, bloody, or battle not make you even the slightest bit nervous? Take this seriously. Show your pride as members of an army which serves the greatest empire the world has ever known. No need to get everyone worked up, Ferdy. When you dislike war as much as I do, you start to appreciate the lighter moments. <laughs> I am inclined to agree. Now, what do you say we show these adherents to the status quo a taste of true power? They don't stand a chance. To arms, then. Today we claim our victory for the good of all. Stay focused. Understood. Empire, the Alliance, the Kingdom, even the forces of the Church. To think we would all meet in such a cramped locale. Hold on. Does anyone actually see the Knights of Seros amidst all this? I wonder if they're not even here to begin with. <laughs> we strike at the Imperial Army today. Do not let the Alliance distract you. Yes, as you command. The party's already starting, huh? It's too bad we couldn't throw it for something a little more civilized. Would it kill you to be serious for once, Claude? <laughs> for the last time, Flane, I am against this. It is not too late to retreat. And for the last time, I intend to fight. Besides, it would seem the battle is about to begin.
Well then, just give the command, Edelgard. Good. Our very hope depends on you. Brave warriors of Adrestia, the time has come to demonstrate the Empire's valor, to prove our supremacy. Any who dare stand in our way must be cut down. Now! As one, attack! I'll be counting on the Alliance's wisdom and strength this day, Claude. Don't worry, our brilliant teamwork will send them scattering. Shore up our defenses, then advance on the enemy's forward position. So far as we know, the enemy's objective is to breach our defensive line and pass through the valley. Must not let that happen. My turn. I'll carve my way right through them. Not on my watch, pal. Riders, charge! Tear their defenses apart! I've heard troubling tales about Fargus's cavalry. We'll be in deep trouble if we don't take them out soon. Where the Alliance army is weakest. Watch this. Uh, they're gonna come all the way over here? No fair! We can't let the enemy create holes in our defense. We must head over and assist. Watch the ground. Even a single wrong step will cause undue pain. You think a few licks and scratches will send me packing? Stand down, Felix! <laughs> it's a wonder you can still stand. Now would you please let us handle the rest? You better come back alive someday, or else. Wyvern Company stands in the red. Deploy them if you think Hilda is in danger. Forgive me, Your Majesty. May fortune favor you in battle. They've gained an early advantage. Well fought, one and all. I hope you're watching, Ingrid. Today is the day I avenge you. Thanks for coming for me. That could have really gone either way there. We're short-handed enough as it is, Hilda. We both need to be more careful. Not you too, Sylvain. Take a breather. What am I supposed to do now? Where we no we longer need turn. those troops to protect our right wing. <laughs> we this. keep this up. The battle may be over before it can even begin. It's unnerving how well we're doing. I hope that means we're headed for a quick victory.
breather. That's one place to build a road. Not trying to stop them, but I can't do it alone. Yeah. Particular storm has passed. Oh. I'm in. You will go no further. I will heal your wounds. Please be careful out there. This should be a fuse. What is this? The second coming of Saint Cephalin? Strike her down and put an end to it already. Say, check out that boulder. I wonder if we can use it to block the lava and reach the other side. over my head, but I'm not letting up until it's over. I'm not finished yet. Fall back to do this. Please, I cannot afford to lose you. Front. Why must you hurt each other like this? We were all brothers and sisters! I'll take over. Blaine, no more! Get to safety! Very well, brother. But you must swear not to put yourself in unnecessary danger. I take the field! Every last one of them will yield to me, or they shall perish. Courage now! The time has come to bring our war with the kingdom to its end. King Dimitri is keeping the Empire busy. Break through their defenses! Initiating the operation. Let <laughs> coordinated that well. Almost too fast. Move to intercept at once. Our way is clear. Onward. I was wondering when Sedith would show up, and when you know it, there he is. Don't give him a chance to retaliate! Take care of Elaine now. Don't... Let any of them breach the defensive line. Archers! I'm in. You must have seen how the tech cut... So close to end He came at us like a maelstrom, but we managed to take the wind out of his sails. May have best, King Dimitri. But you still must contend with me. Bested again. But I must live on. For flame. That was the Archbishop's aid, but there's still no sign of most of the Knights of Saros. We drove off the kingdom in the central church. It's a start, but... But this war is not over. 
We will hunt Dimitri down and put an end to the struggle. Well, would you look at that. We won. Thanks to you. Actually, I'd say you pulled most of the weight. The kingdom and the church had a ton of grizzled warriors on their side. We would have been in real trouble without you and your mercenaries. You were pretty impressive yourself. You barely even broke a sweat out there. I appreciate the compliment, though. I'm glad we got the chance to team up like this.